Welcome again to Cooking in Finland. After the previous video about making the best possible chips or french fries, I thought onion rings would be a good sequel. Like the fried fish recipe that I posted recently, there are a lot of really bad amateur recipes out there. I promise you this is the last onion ring recipe you'll ever use. This can be adapted for crisp coated cauliflower too, and that recipe here follows right after the onion rings. The first step is to combine all of the dry ingredients. Weigh them out in a bowl and then whisk them together, transferred to a large Ziploc bag. Onion rings like these are cheap food porn. The results are beautiful and appetizing for almost no money. Now to get the star of the show undressed. Okay, maybe it's more of a slasher film at this point. For traditional onion rings, make slices between one and one and a half centimeters. That's about half an inch. For something more elegant, double that width and use a lighter batter. Separate the rings and keep only the ones that are intact circles and of a good diameter. Save the rest of the onion for stocks or other applications. Put the onion slices into the Ziploc bag with the dry mix and shake it up to coat evenly. Leave the rings in the bag for at least 15 minutes and several hours is fine. Next, pull them out and place them on a metal tray in a single layer. While they rest, whisk together some of the remaining dry mix from the bag where the onions had been with cold beer. For a thick coating, use equal parts by weight of dry mix to beer. For a lighter coating, increase the beer by 10 to 15 percent. While you can use your fingers, tongs won't leave gaps where you touch the onion. Coat each one evenly in the batter, then let it drip off for a few seconds before transferring to the deep fryer. Fry for three to three and a half minutes, turning the onion ring over at least twice during the process. Drain on paper towels and sprinkle with a little salt. Allow to cool for a few minutes before eating. You'll see they remain crisp and have a perfect texture. The onion rings shown here were made with normal thickness slices and the thick version of the batter using equal parts by weight of beer and the dry mix. This is what most people expect or really what they dream of in an onion ring to accompany a burger or a steak. To make it more elegant for fine dining, slice the onions wider and use a thinner batter as mentioned before. And now on to the cauliflower which is very similar. The coating on the cauliflower will stick to it even after cutting. I would suggest serving this on a thick sauce that won't penetrate and reduce the crunch, and there is definite everlasting crunch. Links in the description below will take you to sites in different parts of the world for my cookbook series. Volume 4 is the most recent. Again, a very sincere thank you to all of my most valued members. I wish you a happy holiday season. Send me email if you have any special requests or just to communicate. I'm always here for you personally, 365 days a year.